Yo guys, what is up? It is Max7HD here today, and today I'm going to be running you guys through the crucial badges you need to get for your my player in order to dominate in the park. So these badges are pretty simple to get, but most of them do revolve around point guards, shooting guards, and small forwards. So if you are a center or a power forward, unfortunately these badges do not really correspond with you. You can still get them if you are good at shooting. Most of these badges do involve shooting, which is why centers and power forwards are really not great to get these badges. But anyway, moving on to the first badge, which is catch and shoot. Now, if you are a small forward point guard or a shooting guard, this badge is really nice to have. Basically, all you have to do to get this badge is attempt 100 shots straight after getting the ball. Pretty simple to get, probably will take 2-3 to three games, and it's very nice to have on park. And you don't necessarily have to make the shots, you just have to attempt them. The next badge is going to be difficult shots. Now, in order to get this badge, all you have to do is attempt 150 difficult fadeaways or shots off the dribble, something of that nature. You don't necessarily have to make them just like the last badge, you just have to attempt them. This does take a while though because they have to be difficult, they have to be a fadeaway, shooting off the dribble, and it's very nice for Park because if you do get in those difficult situations, you know you can knock down those clutch shots, so I would recommend this is one of the better badges to get, so it is kind of difficult, but if you do grind, it probably take you about maybe 2-3 to three hours. The next badge is going to be Corner Specialist. This is one of the really simplest badges you could ever get. All you have to do is make 25 threes from the corner. Yes, they do have to be threes. They can't be twos. It probably will take one to two games, no more than two games. All you have to do is knock down 25 threes one of the easiest badges to get and it is a very nice badge to have in park so you could always knock down threes in the corner and it's just really nice to have now the next badge is going to be sprite posterizer now if you guys really want sprite posterizer i have a full tutorial on my channel for you guys to check out but basically there's two badges you will get when you're trying to get posterizer number one you're probably going to get relentless finisher because a lot of times when you try for posterizer your guy goes up for a contact layup and in order to get relentless finisher you just need to attempt 75 contact layups and in order to get posterizer you have to attempt 15 contact dunks so you probably will get them at the same time and it is very nice to have because you could always just drive to the hoop and park, dunk on someone, have that layup, you have that advantage over in the paint and it's awesome to have in park. The next two badges actually are Deadeye. Now there's two types of Deadeye, there's a three point Deadeye and there's a mid range Deadeye. Now I'm going to be showing you guys both of them at the same time so don't get mixed up. But anyway if you want the three point Deadeye you need to attempt 100 highly contested three pointers and if you want the mid range dead eye you have to attempt 200 highly contested mid range shots now this does mean attempt you don't have to necessarily make them just like most of the other badges but this is one of the harder ones to get just like difficult shots what i like to do is i try to get double team take a shot and hopefully it goes in so now that you have a good feeling of what badges you're going to try to get, the next thing you want to do is look at what badges you can upgrade. What you want to do from there is pick two good ones that you want to get and try to upgrade them to gold or amethyst. Just because you should have at least two badges gold just so you don't have them all bronze. A good selection of badges that you can find on your upgradable badges are tireless scorer, ankle breaker, hustle rebounder, lob city finisher, or dimer. Those are probably the best five that you can find on your upgradable badges. Try to go for those because those are some really good badges to have in park. And also what you want to do is try for the microwave badge. I know that's one of the default badges. It's not really a badge that's really hard to get, but that actually does help a lot in park. It heats up your player. It allows you to make shots. It's honestly a pretty good badge. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial on how to get some of the badges and what badges to get. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.